you have breast implants, whether that is following breast augmentation surgery or breast cancer reconstruction, and you are worried about breast cancer or breast cancer recurrence. Do implants hide lumps? When should I have them replaced? Do breast implants increase my risk of breast cancer? In this video, I'm going to answer common questions surrounding implants and breast cancer. So let's get to it. Can I get breast implants if I have had breast cancer? Yes, absolutely. Many women opt for breast implants after breast cancer surgery, specifically following a mastectomy. While there are other options like tissue-based reconstruction, implants are chosen by many because they often require shorter surgery times, it has quicker recovery, and it can also offer good cosmetic outcomes. However, it's essential to discuss your options with your surgical team to choose what's right for your unique situation. Do breast implants increase the risk of breast cancer? No. Studies have shown that implants do not increase the risk of breast cancer. However, breast implants are known to be linked to a different rare type of cancer called BIA-ALCL, breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma which is a subtype of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which forms in the scar tissue around breast implants. It's actually a cancer of the immune system rather than the breast tissue itself. A study published in 2020 in the journal Annals of Surgery looked at over 9,000 people who have had breast reconstruction over 26 years. The incidence of ALCL is rare, and it can vary from one in 355 to one in 30,000 people. So implants do not increase the risk of breast cancer, but it is linked to a different type of breast cancer. Do breast implants make it difficult to find cancer on mammograms? Not necessarily. Radiologists are very skilled at working around this by taking additional views, known as implant displacement views using the Eklund technique. And this is essentially pushing the implants towards the chest wall, while at the same time pushing the breast tissue forward and this gives us a better picture of the breast tissue despite the fact that the implant is there. Can you feel a lump with a breast implant? Yes, it is absolutely possible to do that. Let's go through the scenarios. If you've had a breast augmentation or a boob job, the implant is actually behind the breast, so it's not in the way of you being able to examine the breast at all. Any lumps in the breast should be easily felt. If you've had a mastectomy and an implant reconstruction, any remaining tissue will be between the skin and the implant. And so again, if there were to be a recurrence, you should be able to feel it despite the implant being there. How long do breast implants last? Breast implants aren't meant to last a lifetime. It's not meant to last forever. And most will last between 10 to 20, even more, but this actually can vary. Some women may need replacement surgery sooner if issues arise, such as implant rupture or capsular contracture. I've seen implants rupture two years after them being placed, and I have seen implants after 40 years. So it really does depend. How do I monitor my breast health with implants? The most important thing is regular self breast examination. Even with implants, it's still important to do. And it is best to get familiar with how your breasts feel so you can notice any changes. If you have cosmetic implants and you are eligible, make sure you attend your screening mammograms. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next one.